You guys get to see what it looks like before I do. How's that board look up there? How's the wheel well look? Is it kind of funky looking? All right, now we've got to figure out the height for the nesting boxes. If we start them here from the outside, probably just over three feet off the ground. Inside, they'll be a foot and a half off the ground. Let me go figure out what a good height is for that. I think one more board will be a good height. We're not just doing it for the birds. We also gotta remember what is going to be a good height for Olivia to access and collect the eggs for us. This morning she said, Dad, when you do the nesting boxes, make sure I can get, get in and collect the eggs. So since she wants to be able to collect the eggs, we'll have to make sure she can get there right now, but we don't wanna make it too low either. She is gonna grow. <laughs> But we don't want to discourage her at the same time. Should we trim this out with wood? Or should we use the fender flares from the old camper? They don't quite go down further enough. We got them down and we can't get them to go any lower. So leave it in the comments below and let me know what you think. Do you like the plastic fender flare? Or should I trim it out with wood and go all the way down? Not sure yet, let me know. Maybe we'll take a vote on it. I kind of feel like I'm building an ice cream truck with the opening the way it is. I don't know, I'm telling you. I think this could be an ice cream truck or maybe a vegetables truck. Get your ice cream, get your ice cold ice cream. What's the ice cream music truck song? I wish I could think of it.
see how much of a bow there is there. Whew. Let's see if we can suck some of that up. There. Let's see what happens if the screws will be able to hold it after. Look at that, it stayed nice. I just got a bunch of my siding material and cut it down to 15 inch long strips with a two inch overhang on the side. This will be a drop down front, we'll have to build that next. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna screw all this in place. don't know if I'm gonna have much more time to do anything else to it tonight. It's supposed to rain. I don't plan on leaving this wood for the roof, but it's supposed to rain tonight, so I'm gonna protect it with some oil. I'm getting a lot of rain lately, so. I plan on putting tin on this part at some point. But for now, I'm just gonna oil it so the boards don't get ruined. When you're trying to make do and use resources that you have around the house, you gotta figure out the project as you're going and make what you have work for you. Sometimes it takes longer, but it saves money. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you're liking the project. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what fender you like better. Do you like the fender that is trimmed off with wood or should I use the plastic fender left over from the camper? Let me know. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.